Greetings, friends around the world. This is Bible News Prophecy Program. My name is Alexander Sashavelic. We are all witnessing high inflation. We are all re- witnessing various reasons for food price inflation. We have been witnessing the Inflation Reduction Act. But are we witnesses of the prophecy being fulfilled? Yes, indeed, we are. And that was the main reason why I want to address that. You see... Uh, in August 17th, UK inflation exceeds 10% as bread and milk prices soar. It was uh, announced by CNN Business. Inflation in the United Kingdom hit a new 40-year high last month, rising above 10% for the first time since 1982 and piling further pain on households already struggling to pay their bills. And then the article continues. It says annual consumer price inflation hit 10%. in July, and so on and so forth. And uh, there are other reasons, or the other reason, why food prices are rising. And that one was uh, uh, announced on CNBS.com, which says that the United Nations' worst-case scenario calculation is that global food prices will rise by an additional 8.5% by 2027. More expensive fertilizers are contributed to those higher costs, with some fertilizers spiking 300% since September 2020, according to the American Farm Bureau. Here is a quote also from the article, and somebody stated that last year fertilizer was around $270 per ton, and now it is over $1,400 per ton, that's the words of Megan Kaiser of Kaiser Family Farms and former director of the United Soybean Board. She told this to the NBS Nightly News with Lester Holt. On August 17, 2022, it was also reported and that the German power prices surged above 500 euros per megawatt hour of the European Energy Exchange AG for the first time as the energy crisis worsened. German year ahead power jumped 6% to 547 euros per megawatt hour as there are no signs of the natural gas rally slowing down. In fact, as it was reported by ZeroHedge.com, Russia's reduction of nat gas flows via the Nord Stream 1 pipeline and a scorching summer across Europe have been the main drivers for power prices. Since early June, power prices have risen 173%, pressuring households and businesses with unprecedented costs. Well, friends... You need to know all that rises in fuel and oil costs also affect food prices. And I'm sure that all of you around the world are feeling that at this point. Inflation is indeed an issue. And yes, there are reasons to believe that the actual inflation rates exceed the official ones in many lands. Jesus Christ prophesied in Mark chapter 13 verses 5 through 8 the following. He says, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name saying I am he and will deceive many. In other words, many false Christian teachers will come out and proclaim false Christianity and many will fall victims to that false Christianity. Verse 7, But when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be troubled, for such things must happen, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be earthquakes in various places and there will be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows, says Jesus Christ in the Bible. You see, rises in food and energy prices are troubling. We can expect to see more protests and evil civil unrest because of price inflation. Now notice that the right of third horseman of the apocalypse results in scarcity, inflation and famine. In the book of Revelation, chapter 6, in verses 5 and 6, that book prophesies that there will be food, but it will be quite expensive. So that is related to food price inflation. Revelation, chapter 6, verse 5. When he opened the third seal, I heard the living creature say, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a black horse, and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, 
and three quarts of barley for a denarius and do not harm the oil and the wine. So some will, friends, thus die as they will not be able to afford it while others will survive but they will struggle. Now you can also notice that the wheat, barley and edible oil it is all listed as shortages associated with the right of the third horseman. Uh, as you know, Ukraine is a significant exporter of all those, or at least it was a significant exporter of all those commodities. Well, related to that, on our channel, Bible News Prophecy, uh, you can, uh, not only on the channel, but also on our, uh, on our blog, on our, on our page, on our website, you can find the uh, video on on these issues on Russia, Ukraine, food, and the right of the third horseman of the apocalypse. Well, within that question, we can ask, did you know that the sanctioned lands of Russia and Belarus are dominant suppliers of ingredients used in modern fertilizers? Are you aware that the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, estimates that 33% of the farmland in Ukraine may not be planted and or harvested because of Russia's special military operation in Ukraine? Are parts of the world like Sudan, Lebanon and the United States experiencing food price inflation? What about impact on the Palestinians in Gaza? Could any of this help lead to the rise of the King of the South? What are some factors that look to increase rice prices? Did Jesus warn of wars and troubles? What are three foods that Ukraine exports uh, that are associated with the shortages and food price inflation of the right of the third horseman of the apocalypse? What does Jesus say his followers should do? Well, in our program, in our message, Dr. Bob Thiel addresses these matters in that video. Now, speaking of the United States of America... As we have recently seen, in the United States of America, a new law was passed called the Inflation Reduction Act. And many have expressed doubts it will do much related to inflation. Indeed, they thought, think that it will not really affect inflation at all. The United States President, uh, President Biden signed into the law this act, signed into the law this month. On August 16, 2022, we learned from the American uh, news media, namely from foxbusiness.com, we learned that Senator John McMenchin on Tuesday admitted that Inflation Reduction Act won't immediately temper inflation, telling reporters that the necessary investments needed to bring down prices would take some time. Menchin's comments came after President Biden signed the landmark climate change and health care bill into law on Tuesday, delivering what he has called the final piece of his pared-down domestic agenda. Though Democrats have labeled the, the measure the Inflation Reduction Act, non-partisan analysts have said that it will have a barely perceptible impact on prices. Asked by Fox News reporter Hillary Vaughn whether it was misleading to call the bill the Inflation Reduction Act because it won't make everyday goods less expensive, Manchin said, why would it? Well, immediately it's not, Manchin said. We have never said anything would happen immediately, like turn the switch on and off, end of the quote. Friends, supply and demand affect inflation. When there is more money and uh, less or less goods, this tends to bring prices up. During COVID, many governments in the world printed up money while their nations also produced less. And yes, Russia's special military operation into Ukraine, as well as weather issues, are also factors in food and energy price inflation, as have been political decisions, including sanctions. Well, when it comes to inflation and money, we need to tell you that on our on our web page, you can find uh, information about uh, money and inflation. And inflation, when money fails, when money fails, you can look on internet and find that uh, interview that Dr. Bob Thiel has given to Steve Dupee. As far as the United States itself goes. Uh, 
I want to quote you something from the book of Mr. of Dr. Bob Thiel, Biden Harris Prophecies and Destruction, because he actually understood that this, this would be happening to the United States. He says, quote, make no mistake about it. Massive inflation is coming. The USA dollar will ultimately crash and be worthless. That pride of American power will be broken. Quote from Leviticus 26 verse 19. Inflation will eventually hit the United States of America extremely hard. End of the quote. Well, right now, the USA inflation rate is at a 41-year high. In the United Kingdom, it is at a 40-year high. Uh, according to London sources, in August 17, 2020, it was published that UK inflation is to hit 15% in early 2023, City, uh, cities, S-A-I-T-I, it's one of their corporations, one of their news medias, uh, predicts this terrible high. This is quote now from Reuters of August 17. British consumer price inflation is likely to peak at an annual rate about 15% in the first three months of next year unless there are government measures to lower prices, economists at the U.S. Bank City forecast on Wednesday. Earlier on Wednesday, official figures showed CPI hit 10.1% in July, above all economists' predictions in Reuters poll. And here is now a quote. In our view, the composition reaffirms the risk of more sustained domestic inflation. In the absence of offsetting support, we expect CPI inflation to accelerate to over 15% in Q1 to 23, end of the quote. And this is from the city economist Benjamin Nabarro, and from his writing, he wrote in a note to his clients. Well, friends, whether or not the UK rate will be 15% next year, 2023, Next year, there will be certainly more food price inflation, and uh, we are all feeling that on our on our backs, and not just in places like the UK. Well, certainly in all the places around the world. So yet once again, we need to be aware of the warning that we read in the Gospels, uh, and also in the book of Revelations. In the Gospel, we read that Jesus Christ said, that nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places and there will be famines and troubles. These are, as he said, the beginning of sorrows. It's not the end of the world as we know it. It's the beginning of sorrows. And prior to that, he warned us that there will be many false prophets, false Christian preachers and teachers who will come out claiming to be Christ's followers, but who will actually be teaching lies and false doctrines that have nothing to do with true Christianity. Also in the book of Revelation, as I mentioned, in chapter 6, in verse 5 and 6, Jesus Christ opened the third seal. And then John writes, I heard the third living creature say, come and see. So he says, I looked, and behold, a black horse, and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart or a quarter of wheat for a denarius. Denarius is an ancient uh, currency. By the way, it's still used in some countries, like in Serbia. It's called a dinar or denar, anyway. So a quarter of wheat for a denarius and three quarters of barley for a denarius. And do not harm the oil and the wine. Friends, we're having hard times ahead of us. Nevertheless... Take faith. We are to live by faith, not by looking, not by the sight. And we are to remember Jesus Christ's words, that those who endure to the end, the same ones, will be saved.